cool. So what happened? Yeah. Well, we got Granny. It's checking all the fluids. And the damn diff stick for this thing was stuck. So As they always are. They've been stuck in every single one of my Subarus. And I figured, yeah, yeah, it's fine. They're always fine. Diffs aren't that much trouble. They're usually pretty reliable. So I just put it on my to-do list. And, well, on the way up to Michigan, made it to about Columbus, about two hours in, and this thing started making a hell of a lot of noise. Throttle in. Throttle off. I pulled over, finally uh, got out some vice grips and wrestled that dipstick free. Actually, the whole dipstick tube pulled out of the transmission um, instead of just the dipstick. Goes in here, right, like this. That looks nasty. Dude. So yeah, I had to put, just put the vice grips on it and pulled the whole thing because normally it's, pull, it goes down right, seats and yeah, up yeah. to there, and like the little thing had broken off. So you have to just pull it out. Yeah, so pulled the whole thing out and then, you know. But that, after that point, then I separated. I was able to hold on to the vice grips with this and then use a hammer and tap this thing out of here. And then tap the dipstick tube back in, lube up the O-ring on the, on the dipstick and put it back in there to actually check the level and only to find that it was bone dry. <laughs> so probably much like the engine had been run at some point leading to the uh, broken connecting rod with the, from the previous owner that uh, kind of brought Granny to us. So. Uh, so if you have an automatic, it's really important that you check your uh, differential fluid. Okay, so the, the pattern is the same, right? These were definitely physically made up here. And it looks like the seal tube is probably the same. Um, but if you look over here, the bell housing is definitely different. It's mm -hmm. kind of amazing, really. Like, that's run without oil and presumably with oil. Well, look that different. I mean, this one's obviously a little chewed up. Yeah, you can see the edges are maybe just like a little bit rounded over. A little bit, yeah. And you can see, I guess, you can see where the gears are contacting where they're not. You can see that black patch is probably like where the gears were not contacting. And the shinier section is where they were, which is actually pretty similar to the, the depth of engagement on this one too. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it'd be a pain to the, the butt to install a, uh, locker in this right you have to undo these just like we're about to do and pull this out and then pull this whole thing apart essentially to yeah there's another chip in that tooth okay yeah that's a pretty good one imagine maybe a roller or something jumped up there and got probably yeah got jammed in there yeah. check it out the of the day which one take a look for a second so you can figure it out Means that. Look, here's a hint. Look in the bottom of the, uh, the oil pan. Hmm. Oh, so I can't even see. Okay, well, the one on the left is full of uh, rollers from the bearing. Oh, see, now, now I see that. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'd say. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> yeah, that will do it. All right, well, let's pull these bearing retainers out of here. See what's going on on the inside. That is free. I'm not seeing any of the bearings from these rollers from these carrier bearings missing, so I'm confused as to where they came from. One looks fine. Maybe they're reproduced asexually. I should just maybe all they need is a little time and some food and yeah. <laughs> just could have taken care of itself. Yeah, just let the bearings grow back. Michelle's com Michelle started making kombucha. Ooh. All right, there's the other retainer. Oh, you know what I, gotta pull? I think I gotta pull these stubs out before I can. Oh, look at that! Where did this come from? These are all intact. It must be the bearings for the pinion gear, I guess. I don't think there are bearings for the side gears. I think those are just 
Uh, Washington had a lot of flex to it just now. Yeah, but I mean, all the you can see if one of the rollers was missing, you'd see that it was missing, right? They're all there. Well, I guess we haven't looked at the pinion yet. That's interesting. You look at the pinion. Oh yeah, that was the pinion, all right. <laughs> Because that pinion, if you look at the other one, I think that pinion's actually dude, looks lubricated by transmission fluid. It looks f***ed up, dude. Yeah, it is f***ed up. I wonder why that one particularly failed before all the other ones did. Might have something to do with the oil level. Yeah, maybe. I think there is. Is there? I think so, yeah. That's the thing, I mean... It's a great differential to have a locker available for. They use that differential forever. That that one I can easily nab a torsion in it. That would actually be a great use for it because. Oh, that was simple. Okay. <laughs> Is that one whack? Is it all yeah. the time? <laughs> right tool for the job, you know? Makes it easy. Mm -hmm. oh. This is the good stuff you, you want to put see. This your finger? Yeah. Just to get some non metallic y bit. Mm. It's definitely, definitely got way hot. One time when I pulled the dipstick, there were little whiffs of smoke coming out of there. This one definitely looks like only one bearing's worth of rollers, not two. Automatic. Make sure you check your differential. I mean, if you have a differential, you can see the catch. Package. What? What was that accent? The clutch it back. You clutch it back. It's just how it's said. See that? That's what makes a Subaru Subaru. I thought it was love. That's what makes it odd. No, it's Subaru. It's, it's the all-wheel drive part right there. Oh. How about broken retaining clips? Envelope. Apparently plastic yeah, just <laughs> soaking in uh, automatic transmission fluid for 20 years isn't too sturdy. <laughs> Shitty plastic. That's right. Show us your diffs. We want to see yeah, what your diff look like. Rip. Please, rip rip your transmissions apart. And and show us your diff. Show us your diff. Hashtag show us your diffs. <laughs> <laughs> Pam me your diffs. We love all kinds of diffs here. Big diffs, small diffs, negatives, big diffs, show me your natural diff. diffs. Oh, oh colors and diff. Anyways, uh, see who's gone wild. <laughs> show us your diffs. <laughs>